Okay, it's cleaning time. It's cleaning, decal removal, and sort of where are we at at this point? My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work, continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. Okay, we started off with paying $6,200 for this Jeep. At this time that this video was shot, I had paid for my tax tile on license. So I am now at $6,500 on the Jeep. Now I'll also be painting a couple of uh, deals on the Jeep at this time. And that can of spray, I think it run me around, let's just say $8. So we are $6,508 as of the making of this video. Like I said on the last video, this hood decal is baked, baked on there. So I'm going to have a workaround for that. I've already got that in the works. It just will not be in this video. Okay, going to strongly, strongly suggest that you use a heat gun to do this. Now I used a heat gun and non-marring scrapers from Harbor Freight. Both of these were purchased at Harbor Freight for another um, oh, project I had, but it's going to work in this application. You want to have the heat on low. Do not go to high. If you go to high, you're going to end up burning through your clear coat or burning the paint. You do not want to do that. You realize in a video upcoming that that you know I was patient at first. I did everything the right way. And then I got to working too fast on something, got the heat too high. But this non marring scraper and a heat gun is going to help you remove most, if not all, of your decals. So you can still see a little bit of the residue here from the decal that was on there, but I just go back in here with this scraper a little bit more and just sort of keep using a little bit of elbow grease to get that removed. And I did an okay job, uh, but it's pretty clear uh, as you can tell. And I huffed, and I puffed, and I blew your house down. God, this sucked. This was terrible. I hated this. I mean, I felt like Eddie Rabbit, man, just driving my life away trying to scrape this. A, I had the smallest scraper because the other three in the package had been damaged from a previous job. Um, so I'm using the smallest scraper. I'm using this heat deal. It's cracked all to heck. It's just, ugh. I, I, I found a way to get past this. I, I am not going to sit here and just, <laughs> just waste time removing this. Now there are eraser wheels out there that some guys and girls have had good luck with, but I'm not going that route. I'm going to do something different. You'll see that in another video, but I am going to bypass this quick, fast, in a hurry. But that's at least a look at the process. It was terrible. Listen to me now and smell me later. Do not use the high heat on here. I got impatient. I started moving too fast, get the heat too high. I burned through the clear coat. Please listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Be patient. Go slow. Use the low heat. Look at that crap. It's very disgusting. All the decals except for that hood decal, they have come off with relative ease. So if that's all you're dealing with, you're going to have a lot of success with just, I mean, you could use a hairdryer if you wanted to. Um, 
I have this heat gun though, and this little scraper, man, it does wonders. So if that's all you're talking about here, there's no need to go out there and buy fancy racing wheels or anything like that. This is going to do everything that you needed to do. Just make sure you keep a, um, you know, a fan, if you will, fan that heat gun back and forth. Do not set in one place too long, and you'll be able to get everything removed. So this is with all the decals removed, minus the horrendous one on the hood. I'm talking about right here that we are fixing to remove everything that's pink that we can, and we're going to start painting. I'm assuming here. You know what happens when we assume? Crank this all the way down to where it ain't got much power. I'm assuming you're going to remove these lens to get to, uh -huh. to what we're trying to get to. Three might have been too much. One was not enough. Uh, that's that so your application probably has three bolts in here but mine only has two because why not why wouldn't you just have two when you should have had three but hey you got to pull these out use some kind of extension to get in there and then you'll be able to get these removed some people like doing it the hard way well that's the way he wants it and so he gets it here we go and then he gets smart. I bought this little tool and another tool from O'Reilly at one point and they're battery operated. They are wonderful. Look at this rat's nest in here. So this is the passenger side and I've got to get in there and remove some zip ties and then I'll be able to get to that plug. But I'm just showing you sort of what it looked like. Okay, right here I'm gonna remove these uh, front headlight protectors. Like I said in the last video, I don't know that I'm gonna keep these. I may, but I just I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm not crazy about the look of them. Um, but these headlight trim rings, they need to be painted as well. It does not get done in this video, but in another video that's coming up, it does get done and it turned out really well. So stay tuned for that one as well. But um, it's really easy to remove the trim light rings and uh, those protectors. Every time I look at this, I think about the song Pink by Aerosmith and it just starts ringing through my head. I'm not going to sing it for y'all today because I don't want your ears to bleed, but YouTube Pink by Aerosmith and you'll get what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, this is so extravagantly clean now. I like it. Okay, it's time to get all these things spray painted red. I will time lapse all this so it doesn't take up a ton of time. Uh, I've taped off the things like the threads. I've put stuff in the actual where the threads would go on the bolt on the inside the hooks. Um, I could have taped off all the KC that's black, but one of these are cracked just a little bit. So I'm not really going to mess with that. I'm just, everything's getting red. We're going red all the way. So let's get into time lapse and I'll start spraying. Oh yeah, before I forget. I lightly sanded everything except for the plastic. I cleaned it with soap and hot soap and water. I lightly sanded everything and used alcohol on it as well, just to get a nice, well, as smooth a surface as possible. So just know that before I get started that I sanded and lightly sanded everything, all the rough ends, and then used alcohol to get it a nice clean surface to spray on. All right, let's roll. Oh yeah, this is what I bought last night. This is two times coverage paint plus primer. This is automotive grade. It bonds to plastic metal and more. So the paint and primer. 
So this is a one-stop shop. Now, I am no expert rattle can sprayer, so I know, though, from hearing other people talk about it, put that first coat on lightly, then the second coat a little heavier, so on and so forth. Okay, that's two coats in, so we're going to let that set for just a few minutes, and that sort of let that first coat, I just sort of lightly sprayed everything. That second time I come in, I went in a little bit heavier. The red is covering the pink pretty good. Uh, it's doing a really good job over on the plastic. Um, and then the tow hooks, they're pretty, you know, they might have actually been used at a point in time, but um, I'll have to flip those over at some point and then put other, you know, layers of spray on those sides. But everything else is just uh, from the top down um, and hopefully get good coverage. So we'll get to the uh, time lapse for the third and maybe fourth uh, coating. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave these set to the side because I still gotta flip them, but I'm gonna start clear coating these other things to get those taken care of. I forgot to buy clear last night, so I have about a half can of matte. I've got more of gloss, but I'm gonna try to do matte to keep this from just screaming red. Painting everything red is almost completely done. I'm just gonna put another coat over this. Everything else is in two stages of clear and I'm relieving my remaining clear for these. Okay, I'm gonna do one more really light coat of red and then I'll let it wait for a few minutes and then start clearing. Um, I'm a little bit anxious to sort of see because there's some blind spots for me here but i'm just going to hope for the best at this point because all these things are going to get messed up this is a cheap jeep this is not my primary jeep so sort of doing the best i can and i'm not going to say i'm half a in it but you know if you can hang these from something and spray them like that that's the best that's what i mean get these little bungee cords deals especially stuff that you have hooks on it's just going to give you a lot easier way to spray these uh, and plus once they're drying you can just hook them back up on the edge of your garage lip or whatever don't spray them from there okay you could if you just didn't have anything in here that you cared about but um, you can hold them in your hand and spray them twist everything else um, twist and then hang them up let them dry pull them down as you need them to clear them put more you know layers on whatever it may be but these are handy little pieces of deals uh, to be able to use and uh, you'll probably have them lying around your garage. So just in case that you don't have someone with you, video this part, make sure your tail lights work, your signals, everything works properly after you've buttoned everything back up. Okay, at this point right here, the tow hooks have been painted red, the KC light covers have been painted red, the tail light covers have been painted red, the front headlight covers have been painted red as well, but hey that's at least where we're at on this video so eight dollars in beyond what you know purchase price and the tax dollar and, and license okay in my next video i'm going to be discussing how i fixed the no bus issue that i was having so please stay tuned for that um episode it should hopefully be a sort of short and sweet maybe video and i'm going to sort of discuss how to fix the no bus issue i'm not going to go into a very like super detailed but you'll at least get a good idea of what it's going to look like so stay tuned love y'all a long time thank y'all very much for watching like comment subscribe